Hey guys, Chevin here again. So today we're gonna be doing another um, Nemesis and Beyond run, but this time we're gonna do a Quad Deli uh, map. So let's just go through the changes with my gear. So I've made a lot of changes with my gear since the last uh, video. So as you can see, I have mirrored my uh, I have mirrored the new Twelve Link Claw. So this is the new claw that I'm using. And I'm also using a squire. And the links I have is uh, added lightning, uh, lightning strike, trinity, divergent inspiration. This is important just uh, to reduce the mana cost of the, of the skill. At the moment, it's at 32 mana. Uh, and without that, I think it goes up to 51 mana, which is too high. Even though we use the these flasks, uh, sometimes when you're cl uh, looting the map, there are some monsters uh, left and you have no flask charges and you have to deal with them. Uh, it definitely helps a lot. And it also helps us uh, cap our crit or almost cap our crit. We also use Nightblade still. Uh, Elusive is just too good to pass up, so we always want that. And elemental awaken elemental damage with attacks to uh, for the reflect immunity. So I moved all my auras on my chest, and I got a new greed some race with plus one socketed gems. Uh, I'll upgrade this later on with a dual corrupt with plus one socket and plus two aura or plus two AOE or plus or increased damage. Uh, I'm just waiting for a cheap one. So I'm running Herald of Ice, Enlightened Four, Defiance Banner, Precision, Determination, and Anger. Uh, these two, as you can see, uh, low level because I'm trying to level up gems, uh, uh, some gems, so that's fine. I'm still using the same Venters. Uh, I'm still using the amulet that I got early on in the league. I got this amulet for, I think, 12x early on. And I don't know how much this costs now uh, because it's very hard to craft. I don't think it's even possible. It's just, just get it out of luck. I changed my helm to uh, one with a 55 int because we're now running uh, added lightning damage. We need the attributes. We don't have intelligence on our am amulet. And we also don't have the intelligence on our claw anymore. So we definitely need the end here. So that's that. Uh, the others are still the same. Um, I don't think I've changed anything on my passive skill tree. Yeah, it's pretty much still the same. Now I've tried the build with a mage blood, uh, so I got a mage blood. I tried it, and uh, with one inspired learning, it just doesn't feel good. Even though you have one inspired learning, you might need three if you want to run it with mage blood, but it's just too, too hard to make that work with a passive. So I just up with uh, opted with headhunter. It's still the best for mapping. Um, yeah. So I don't recommend using Mage Blood if you're gonna do Nemesis farming. All right, so now let's go on to the juice that uh, the map that we're gonna run. So we're still gonna run this. Uh, we're gonna do Quad Delhi, Nemesis and Beyond. We're gonna do Winged Abyss, Winged Div, Winged Harby, and Winged Breach. So we're doing Winged Harby this time instead of a uh, Winged Reliquary. I just want to test that out, see what the difference is. I haven't tested this build on Triple Beyond maps yet, so in Quad Delhi. Uh, so we'll see how it, uh, you know, goes. Uh, for the Watchstones, it's the same. Abyss, uh, Elevated Beyond, Nemesis 4, Unique Drop Corrupted Items. And those are my um, Atlas Passives. And my Uncharted Bones. For Prophecies, same thing. Frogs, uh, any Tempest. 
I like Crushing Squall because it doesn't do a lot of damage when it when when it procs. Because uh, some of them, like the Undead Storm, did summon some like random skeletons, which is quite annoying when you're looting the map. Uh, and Bountiful Traps. So let's do this. So we want Beyond. Oops. Let's delete that. Then we go Beyond. Make sure everything's all good and correct. Yep. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. Change our loot filter while clearing just to loot the six links. Double check our resistance and our IIQ. Correct. So let's do this. All right, so we proc the crushing squall, which is really good. So our I, map IQ is two oh seven, eighty three pack size. So this is very juicy. So want to make sure we don't die. So we just take it slowly, get some headhunter buffs. Uh, hopefully we don't get disconnected though, because I get disconnected a lot when doing breaches, especially. And apologies for the lag as well. Um, it's just way too hard to, you know, get a constant high FPS when running these kinds of maps. Let's see how many scouts and exalts are we gonna drop this run. And we might even drop a mirror. So there's one, what's that? So an exalt, that's our first exalt. All right, Sacred Orb, that's pretty rare. I think they go up to about 40C now. So when I pop the Breach, I try to um, move away from it, then come back to it so that uh, there are already a lot of mobs that, ha that have spawned and I can proc beyond easier. So as usual, you always want to keep uh, switching to the Scourge uh, just so you get as much monsters as you can. And while clearing, just make sure you loot all of these six links. Uh, I still haven't gotten my third Krangle slot, which is quite annoying. It would definitely help a lot in terms of the six links that, that I drop, but it's alright. Uh, I also tend to check a lot of the belts that drops, so I don't need to track backtrack later on. So there's our second exalt. Just double check the beyond here. So we're at 47% beyond. Okay. The juicy one, we might drop an X here. Okay, so let's go to Alva. Alright, so hopefully we get an Exalt or a Scout card from this Alva. It's pretty juicy. Yep, we got a scout, so that's our third one, third exalt. So I tend to count a scout card. Uh, it's like 0.9x, so. Yeah. So now we're full inventory, uh, so if we die here, it's not a big deal, uh, but hopefully not. It's getting quite juicy, so we might get another exalt here, with the amount of juice that I'm seeing.
hello. I think it bugged out. Oh, there it is. It's gone. Let's see. So we're already at 138 scorch, scourge stacks. Which is pretty good when you're on the first half of the map. I'm getting a lot of lag, so hopefully I don't get DC. But if we DC, it's fine because we have a full inventory anyway. So, so that's our fourth one. Let's see how many more we get. So this build is really strong, like back on my old build, my pop DPS was only 4 million I think. And now with my, with this 12 link setup, it's gone up to 19 million on pop, which is huge. That's 4 times damage, like this is quad deli and you can see the damage I'm doing is insane. I thought that's an exalt, that's unfortunate. Yeah, so there's definitely a big improvement in terms of the the damage. What I'm probably gonna do next is uh, I might swap all my jewels. At the moment, I am not chill immune yet. I haven't finished um, adding implicits to my jewels, but I am freeze immune and shock immune already. Okay, so that's another scout. So what's the count? That's our fifth one. That's good. There's another one. That's our sixth one. So this Harbinger setup might be actually be pretty good. And the Quad Deli as well. Uh, remember like Delirium orbs add a lot of IIQ to the map. If you didn't know, it doesn't add more monsters. Monster count would still be the same, but the IIQ that it adds on the map is huge. I think, no, not, not on the whole map. Just with the Delhi mobs, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong there, guys. Just put in the comments. Because uh, there's been a lot of debate around, you know, is one Delhi ore better than, is the same, is, is, is it the same as, you know, 100% Delhi? The answer is not. You get more drops when you run more Delhi orbs. Alright, so let's do our second Alva. So right now we're already at 15 stacks or 15 deli layers and there's still quite a bit more on the map that we have to clear so let's see yeah this 12 link setup is definitely so strong i can feel it uh the only difference from my previous setup is that I lost a lot of evasion uh, because my old shield had 2000 flat evasion so a scout and an exalt so that's our 8 so we're at 8 and I see a lot of 6 links too so we might not fully loot this map I think we are at around 46 links already and there's still quite a bit more left on the map so that 40 divine orbs is probably, uh, ooh, I think I got, I crashed. So let me just fire up the game again and then we'll be right back in a second. All right, so that's unfortunate. So I'm gonna put all the loots in one dump tab so we can track it later on how much we got on this map, so. The, uh, yeah, so let's put it on this tab right here. Uh, yep. Oh, 
Oh, that's really unfortunate, but that's fine. Thank God there's no degens on the ground. Because if there is, it's going to be annoying to get back to where we were at. It's very laggy just uh, walking on these. Because I think the amount of loot that's on the ground right now. It's dangerous. So we want to loot as much six links as we can. And clear all the leftover mobs as well, so it's easier to loot later on. So we're almost full. We'll get that later. Still quite a few six links in the ground. Alright, I think this is where we were at a while ago. And take note guys, I'm not even using the real gems that I have because I'm leveling some gems. Um, so we're missing the full potential there. Is this Alva? Have I done this Alva yet? Okay, let's, so let's do Alva. Uh, hopefully we get around another Exalt here. If Beyond Procs... Let's see. How many Beyond Procs are we gonna get here? not a lot. That's a pretty bad alpha. Alright. Hopefully I don't die. We might hit 16 Delhi layers uh, by the time I full clear this map. Also, where are the Harbingers? I, I don't think I've seen a lot of them yet. Or... And we got a Blight as well, which is pretty good. And we also got a Legion, huh? This, this map is pretty juiced. And an Essence. Let's trigger this Abyss. So you can see we're at 300 Scourge stacks already. Uh, yeah, Tropical Island can reach it as well as long as you have enough pack size and juice. Uh, though it's really expensive to run this juice level of juice because of the Winged Scarabs are so expensive now. And also rolling the maps is so annoying. I check those letter belts yet. a little bit move the lag and we'll, st we'll start the blight while we finish this uh, abyss and then we can just build some scout towers okay there's another one two so we're at 10 we are at 10 exiles, guys. It's so laggy, I can't even click anything. Let me build some towers. Oh, I got the headhunter teleport buff, I think. That's the most annoying thing ever. And another one, so that's our 11th, 11 raw exalt. So we're, we're already at huge profit because it costs around 6 to 7x now at current market to run this map. And we have gotten 11 raw exalts, including scout cards. And we haven't even looted the map yet, right? So, yeah, it's insane.
Let's see if there's any more scourge. Nope. Two monsters left on the map. And they're here. Zero monsters. All right. So I'm just going to loot the map and then I'll come back uh, and we can look at the result. All right, guys. So I'm back. I just finished looting the map. Unfortunately, we got disconnected. Um, so we didn't end up fully looting the map. I think before I got disconnected, there were still around 8 or so, 6 links. I didn't finish checking all the uniques. So if we dropped some good uniques there, it's gone. I didn't loot the Mahoney quiver. Maloney or something like that. can't remember. But here it is. Here are all the loots. Um, and the excellence shows I got around... 15.92x that's around 7 exalt that's with 7 exalts and 4 scout cards so that's pretty good but yeah maybe if we and we fully loot the map it's probably around 18x for this run so that's good enough for me uh, i think we still made a profit if the map costs like 7x then that's that's huge so yeah uh, thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments down below. I usually answer all the questions around here. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time.